Yo, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Buttermink, and we're back at you with our final IBL Week 9 battle versus Jack and his Los Angeles Valientes. Uh, now, we're 2 and 6, so we're definitely out of playoffs. Not a shot in the world we make them. Uh, but Jack couldn't mean because this. He could have clinched the second spot with a win here. Uh, so he didn't have, you know, he couldn't afford a meme or anything. So I was like, okay, I'll build some serious sets. And uh, off the top of my head, what I remember, I have Rotom with enough speed for Adam and Bulu. I've got Gigalith uh, with uh, Sandstream. I've got a defensive Mew with Expert Belt and enough uh, special attack to Oko, Halucha with Psychic and um, Bulu with Sludge Bomb. Uh, I have uh, just D Dance Roost Charizard. Uh, I have Zerahora, which is special uh, with Z Focus Blast. And then I have a Home Claws Extra Drill with Drill Run because Tapu Bulu is Tapu Bulu, and Tapu Bulu is the worst. So I'm going to. Looking at this team, Rotom seems like a very good lead, because like, it forces out Teenie, it doesn't worry too much about Teenie. Uh, Hydreigon, I can just switch into Gigalith at that point. Uh, you know, it's not, I'm not in a terrible spot if I lead Rotom. Uh, so I'm just going to do that. And uh, he's, and we're going to just jump right into the battle. And good luck, have fun to Jack, and you know, hopefully it's a good game. So. We're gonna get a challenge from him. He's got that nice tiger jersey uh, going on. As he's gonna send out, actually leads with Tafu Bulu, uh, which is a bit unfortunate, but I'm going to lead with my Rotom Wash. Uh, as I'm just going to, at this point, I'm more than likely to have speed. I have enough speed to do so. So I'm just going to Volt Switch on out of there. And uh, at this point, I'm predicting Bulu to go Stone Edge since like Charizard is the most obvious switch in the world here so I'm going to go into Gigalith because it can live a Stone Edge pretty comfortably because Gigalith has a lot of defense and it gets up the sand as well but no he just goes straight up for the wood hammer and it just decimates me uh, there was no question he was banded he revealed after the match but it didn't even matter I, I would have died even if he wasn't banded uh, but Tabu Bulu also takes like 60% in recoil because Gigalith just has that much health. It's a crazy thing. But uh, here I'm just going to go into Underminer because, you know, I've got sand uh, and I've only got like six more turns of it. So what I should have done here is Home Claws because this switch was obvious. He's not leaving an extra drill in here. Uh, but I'm going to Iron Head into the Rocky Helmet as uh, that's, <laughs> that's a bit annoying. Uh, but I'm going to just get off the Hone Claws, because, like, Sand's up, I can't switch out, because then I waste this, and I'm useless outside of Sand. Uh, he's actually going to predict me switching into, like, Rotom, or into Mew, or into Zero, or whatever, and he's going to click Toxic, and it's not going to affect me, so, uh, this turn, I'm going to just straight up go for the, uh, Drill Run, because, uh, there is no way... That this uh, Toxitex survives a plus one drill run from an adamant, uh, adamant extra drill as the Toxitex, that thing is finally going to fall. Uh, oof. Now he goes out into Hydreigon, and I'm like, okay, this is interesting, but I did pack the X scissor for this. I'm plus one, I'm adamant. And he turns out that he's bold, and that does like 80% as he connects the Fire Blast and it's just going to drop Excadrill. Uh, yeah, that was that was a plus one Adamant Excadrill and it did like 80% to a Hydreigon, which is crazy. But at that point I can just go into Zero Aura and I can just click a move. Uh, I actually think I Volt Switch and it actually leaves him on like 1 HP. Uh, so that's annoying, but I can go into Zard here since I didn't Mega yet. Uh, he can't, you know, kill me with a super effective D-Pulse or whatever. I just he just goes straight for the D-Pulse as it does. And it was respectable damage, but since I'm not naked yet, you know, I don't take super effective damage as his Hydreigon's just going to drop to the sand. Uh, so now it's 4 on 4 and I'm not <laughs> in the greatest of positions. 
as he's just going to go out into Victini, um, as I'm just going to, I believe, roost up here, or either, either that or Dragon Dance. Um, yeah, I'm just going to roost and get some health back, as this thing isn't really doing much of anything to me. So, and he reveals Psychic, uh, and he actually reveals that he's very specially offensive, because that does, like, over half to me, which made me kind of go like, ooh, that's scary. Uh, that's terrifying. So I'm just going to switch out into, I believe, yeah, into Mew, because uh, it can take a Psychic or whatever, as he's going to just Psychic again, and I'm going to just chew that, because, uh, I'm a very bulky Mew. As the Sandstorms are side, so we don't know what his speed is, because uh, I didn't put much speed on Mew myself, because I didn't need it, uh, as he's just going to go straight into Agron, which, fair enough, as I'm going to just straight up U-turn on out of there, uh, and I'm going to go, I believe, into Rotom here. Yeah, I'm going to go into Rotom, because uh, Agron doesn't have the greatest special defense, and, you know, I can threaten a burn on it, uh, which is why it surprised me when he stayed in instead of going into... Well, I guess he didn't really have a burn switch in. Uh, well, he does have Energy Ball on Victini, he would reveal, so I'm surprised he didn't go for that. But I'm just going to Vault Switch on him. Uh, do a nice 25%. Uh, and I'm going to just go in my only other switch in for this thing, and that's Charizard. As he's just going to set up Stealth Rocks. Because I knew he was going for Rocks when he stayed in that turn. Uh, so I kind of need to get Charizard in relatively free as I'm just going to roost up, and uh, he's actually going to, I believe right here, miss the Thunder Wave, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, he misses the Thunder Wave, uh, so that's that's great. I wasn't Dragon Dancing at that point, but uh, Damp Memes, because he just revealed Thunder Wave, is basically a free switch into this thing again, and yeah, he goes for it again and it does nothing. Uh, so this turn, I'm actually going to just straight up Hydro Pump, uh, just to get damage off, as he's going to go into Bulu, uh, and set up Glassy Surge, uh, and I'm going to Nido Pump, and, uh, Bulu, just a very bulky boy, is going to eat that hit like it's nothing, uh, so now I'm in an unfortunate position. I'm not Scarf, though, so I could just Volt Switch out and get some more damage off on this thing, uh, <laughs> my switch to it are fairly limited. Uh, so I'm just going to go into Charizard again, take the rocks. If he wants to go for a rock move, then I guess I'm sacking this thing. Uh, he actually just clicks Toxic, toxic which was fair enough. Uh, hits basically everything, although I feel like in the late, where at the point we were in the game, he kind of misplayed that, because the better play would have definitely been to, you know, go for damage, because I was forced to switch out, but he just clicks Toxic. Uh, he's gonna obviously have to withdraw. And uh, he goes right back out into Agron, and I'm pretty sure at this point I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna click Flare Blitz, yeah. I'm just gonna click Flare Blitz, and it does, uh, since Mega Agron Filter is such a busted ability, it only does like 60% to Agron. Uh, so that's, you know, fun, fun, fun. Fun times are had by all. Uh, so I'm gonna just take a bunch of chip from Flare Blitz and Toxic and all that crap. So uh, I'm going to, at this point, Switch back out, because Damp Memes, again, uh, basically walls this thing completely, as he's going to obviously click the Stomping Tantrum, and since I'm Levitate, it doesn't affect me. Uh, and at this point, I think I just, oh, I just Thunderbolt, because uh, I'm not messing around with this thing anymore, and I just kill Mega Agron. Oh, no, it lives. That's right, it does live, but his Heavy Slam also does insignificant amounts of damage as Grassy Terrain is finally going to go down and uh, I'm going to just Volt Switch and get some momentum into something here. Uh, into what though? I think it might have been Mew uh, since it was my best answer to in general. Oh no, I go into Charizard. Uh, to be honest, don't know why. I think Mew would have been the better switch in on my part, especially since I'm taking toxic damage and rocks and all that. Uh, as he goes into Victini, uh, and at this point, I know I outspeed, so I'm just like, I'm gonna go for Dragon Claw, get off some damage, as he's actually going to Flame Charge, which is scary, uh, very scary, uh, as he's going to now outspeed me, he gets the crit, not that it matters, because it did nothing anyway, and I was dead to Toxic, 
as it were, but uh, I'm going to faint on Charizard. And so I'm going to go into damp memes because I'm like, at this point, if he has the energy ball, he has the energy ball, you know, I'm going to force him to reveal it to me. Uh, but he withdraws and he goes into Bulu. Uh, in his commentary, he said that this because he wanted to set up the grassy terrain to secure the kill with uh, Victini, which, you know, fair enough. Uh, but I had no reason not to Hydro Pump. And uh, since the Bulu is so low, it's actually going to die to Rotom. And, uh, but now Victini definitely comes in basically for free and uh, can just click energy ball and just decimate this thing but i don't really have a switch into it so i'm not you know don't have another play as his energy ball is just going to bop me uh but now since he's so low and uh he's not at any plus speed or anything i can go into zero or here and threaten this thing out with uh my thunderbolt or with a knockoff or with whatever have you as I'm, oh yeah, I'm going to knock off this turn, and I'm going to get rid of his Mago Berry, which is great, as I'm going to easily live a blue flare, well not easily, I live it on like 27, uh, but since he wasn't, you know, I'm glad I knocked off that Mago Berry, because that put me in a really good position, as now he's going to play really aggressive, and decide to switch into Halucha, because he figures, you know what, he's probably going, he revealed knockoff. He's probably going for Plasma Fist this turn, uh, but no, I reveal that I'm actually Special Zero with Knockoff, and uh, Halucha just switches straight into a Thunderbolt, uh, and there's no grassy seed in the world that would save him from that fate. Uh, so now, at this point, uh, his Victini's super low, uh, I have a Mew in the back, so uh, this Thunderbolt's definitely going to kill, though, uh, since I'm modest as well, and it just drops Victini. So we're actually going to pick up our third one of the season uh, over Jack, and it's going to be a 2-0 victory in a very close game. Uh, but, you know, I'm pretty proud of how I played. Uh, you know, sacking off Gigalith in the beginning like that was kind of unfortunate, but, you know, I couldn't risk him going for Stone Edge and Zard being dropped instead. Uh, so, you know, you make the plays you feel like you have to, and... That's what I did, and you know, we ended up winning anyway, so we take those sometimes, we take those. Uh, so GG to Jack, and good luck in the playoffs to you, and uh, this will be the last time you guys hear from me from the IBL D-League, so I would like to thank all of you bright, lovely people for watching, and wish you all a great day.